Hello mates, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about traditional tattoos or more specifically my traditional tattoos, uh, what I've got and why I got them. So all of my traditional tattoos are on my arms. I've got two patchwork sleeves currently in progress. Um, all of my tattoos have been done by two artists here in Brighton. The first of which is Aaron Fitchett, who works out of Gold Irons Tattoos. And the other one is Joey Salvage, who works out of Magic Tattooing. As I said, both of those artists are based in Brighton. The first piece that I want to talk about is this 1950s greaser, which was done by Aaron Fitchett. Uh, this was a birthday present to myself for my 21st birthday. I've always thought that greasers were the coolest looking cat, so that's my reason for wanting to get this tattoo. Now I said to Aaron that I wanted this to look super Sailor Jerry in terms of the design and the colours that he used and this is what he came up with. Now I didn't heal this tattoo very well unfortunately, I have super dry skin and I just, I didn't keep it moist enough. Um, I have since got it touched up twice but it doesn't look quite as good as if I just healed it properly in the first place. But. Uh, it's still one of my favourite tattoos and I think it is just fucking rad. I do get asked all the time if this is supposed to be Elvis, which, you know, I get. You see a guy with black hair in a quiff and you, your mind just goes straight to Elvis, so I don't mind that, but I do get that on an almost daily basis. This is definitely one of my favourite tattoos, although that's a bit like trying to choose your favourite child, isn't it, when you're trying to choose your favourite tattoo on your body. This next one is also done by Aaron Fitchett. It's a swallow. It's a real old school sailor tattoo used to represent travel and freedom, as well as the idea of returning home. Uh, this is another one that was a birthday present to myself for my 21st birthday. I wanted to get it because it's just such a classic image. When I was growing up, my next door neighbour had a swallow tattooed on his arm and he's the first person I ever remember seeing with tattoos. Which is why I think the idea of a traditional swallow has stood out to me so much. It's been, you know, something that's been in my life for a long time. Yeah, I love this one. Moving to the inside of my arm, I've got this clipper ship. This was also done by Aaron Fitchett. Again, this is another iconic sailor tattoo. Uh, I've got a banner which reads Homeward Bound, which is a phrase you see attached to a lot of old school clipper ship tattoos. This is just such an iconic image and obviously another classic design. If we then move up my arm onto my bicep, I've got this red heart which says mum. What is there really to say about this one? I love my mum and I wanted to put that on my skin. This one I also got on my 21st birthday in the same session that I got the swallow done. The last one on this arm is this pin-up girl. Now I'm sure some of you have noticed right away, this one doesn't look particularly good. Uh, but believe it or not, it looked worse before. So this is one that I had to get Aaron Fitch to fix for me because it was just fucking atrocious before. I'll put up an image on the screen now of what it looked like before Aaron fixed it for me. So this was actually the first ever tattoo that I got on my arms. Uh, I wanted to get a pinup girl because of my affinity for the 1950s and greaser imagery. And the guy I went to being the fucking idiot that I am, or at least was when I was 19, didn't specialize in traditional tattoos and I don't think really knew what a traditional tattoo was. He also wasn't a trained tattoo artist, okay? He was a scratcher and I know when people say scratcher you think of a guy tattooing out of his kitchen or something it wasn't in a kitchen he did have a studio but he still wasn't very good at that point i had no concept of what made a good tattoo and this guy just happened to be five minutes away from me hence why i went to him i sent him loads of flash images and i kept saying to him that i wanted it to look super traditional and he just kept saying to me yeah yeah no problem i then saw the stencil which was just like a super basic outline and i went yeah i think that looks fine it was only after we were pretty much done with the tattoo that he then turned to me and said so we've gone full realism with this and i remember thinking that's pretty much the opposite of traditional, but it was already on my skin by that point. I also never intended for it to be so fucking blue, but the guy never asked me about colours or anything like that, and he was he was a super intimidating dude, so I didn't want to ask too many questions. It was one of my first tattoos, and yeah, that's on me. Originally, her face was just completely fucked. Her nose was facing a different way to the rest of her face, and it was just a fucking catastrophe, to be honest, and Aaron really did his best with what was there, but it's, it was never going to be as good as if I just got it done properly by someone who knew what they were doing the first time. I do think it looks loads better than before though. And we live and we learn. Don't trust people with only good tattoos anyway. If we then move on to my right arm, I've got another red heart with a banner. This one says, True Love. This is another one that was inspired by looking at a bunch of old Sailor Jerry Flash. And Aaron came up with a more sort of updated take on those old school designs. Then above that, we have my favorite Sailor Jerry design ever. This is an old school Navy girl that I got at a Sailor Jerry Flash day at Gold Irons Tattoo. Again, this is one that Aaron did for me. I was actually seeing this image on someone else that made me really fall in love with traditional tattoos and 
wants traditional tattoos and wants sleeves. So yeah, this one has a pretty special meaning to me. If push came to shove, I would probably have to say that this is my favorite tattoo. It's just such a simple and supreme design. Then moving around to my outer forearm, I have this mermaid holding a skull. Uh, this tattoo was done by Jerry Salvage at Magic Tattooing here in Brighton. This tattoo is maybe four months old now and it's, it's an image that I've wanted for a long time. This is the first tattoo that I got after three years of not getting any whilst lockdown and COVID and all that were happening and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I said to Joey that I wanted black scales instead of blue or green scales, which is something that he was skeptical about at first, but it's something that I'd seen elsewhere and I just thought it would look fire as fuck. And I'm really happy with how it contrasts to the rest of the tattoo. If we then move to my inner forearm, this is a piece that Joey did for me at the same time as he did the mermaid. Obviously, it is a Bible with blood dripping from it. I won't go too much into why I got this, but it's got a pretty special meaning to me. I grew up in the Christian church and then left the church at 16. And basically, to cut a long story short, this represents that part of my life. Above the Bible, we've then got a Gretsch guitar, which was also done by Joey Salvage. I got this image basically because I play guitar and the Gretsch is my favorite looking guitar. I've actually got one here uh, that my dad got for me. My dad also plays guitar, so it kind of reminds me of him when I look at this as well. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I don't think Joey had ever tattooed a guitar before, and I think he was a little bit worried about getting the strings to look right and whatnot, but I think he did a great job. Above the guitar, I've then got an eagle filling that little gap in. This one was also done by Jerry Salvage at Magic Tattooing. I mean, obviously an eagle is such an archetypical traditional tattoo design, and this is a piece from Joey's Flash that happens to just fill the gap really nicely. It didn't feel particularly nice when I was getting it done, and uh, Joey went over my elbow ditch, but it was well worth it. And again, it's one of my favorites. Uh, moving up my arm, we have this uh, flower filler which is kind of filling my ditch out this one was done by aaron fitchett at gold irons again this was a real bitch in the ditch area this one doesn't really have any meaning it just fills the gap and looks really cool above that i have this panther also done by aaron fitchett just another staple image of traditional tattoos i've called mine t'challa because obviously it's a black panther king t'challa is the black panther and i love how nicely it ties in with this next one which is a lady head again done by aaron fitchett aaron does loads of lady head tattoos and and this is my favorite one that I've ever seen him do. I love the rose in her hair and I just think she's just so fucking beautiful. Neither of these have any particular meaning, but I just think they both look cool as fuck. Right, so those are all of my traditional tattoos. If you'd like to see another video where I talk about what I'm gonna fill the gaps on my sleeves in with, please comment that down below. Give this video a like and hit the subscribe button and all the other YouTube bollocks for more nonsense like this, some of it traditional tattoo related. If you like the music that you're hearing in the background of this video, it was actually all produced by me. I have another channel where I post beat slash instrumentals that I've made for singers to write songs to. So if that's something you're interested in, I will drop a link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.